Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Victorian Servitude Challenge. I mentioned in the last episode that we'd be visiting in with Sylvia and Theodore, and I said that you might recognize this house if you are a big supporter of my channel, <laughs> because I did a speed bill on... A speed build on this. I can link that down below for you guys. Unfortunately, there is no download link because there is way too much CC in this that I no longer know where the link is to. So you won't be able to download it. So I'm um, sorry about that, but you can watch the speed build. And here it is. Um, I did a lot of editing because in the speed build, it was, um, I made it with modern amenities and it was made for, uh, oopsie, it was made for a single mother and her one daughter. Um, but I had to do some adjusting, obviously to make it more Victorian and to make it suit the style of this series. And so I've placed the lot kind of in the middle, in the middle of nowhere, kind of on the outskirts of Riverview, kind of far away from everything else because, and I mean, there is a road going up to it, but I kind of like, I'm imagining that they're kind of like in the middle of the woods sort of, cause you know, I, I put down a lot of trees in the world around the place and I put down a lot of trees on the lot itself. It's on a big lot, but I just moved the house all the way back away from the road. Like the, the path doesn't start until like halfway through the lot. Because I wanted to give the illusion that we were, you know, in the middle of the woods and that's where they went to take refuge and, you know, be um, unbothered by the rest of the world in their love for each other. So anyway, they've just gotten out of bed um, and they are getting up. They have 25 simoleons to their name. Uh, they're very, very poor because uh, Sylvia gave up everything to be with him. She gave up her her status and her... Um, her all of her riches and everything so she gave that all up to be with him and so she's the house is actually fairly big I remember it being smaller when I built it but it's pretty big but I kind of had to strip it down a little bit um, again this whole area on the speed build was a living room with a tv and stuff but I kind of just made it a random I didn't know what else to do with it because there's a living area here with a fireplace and then there's another fireplace here by the dining area and the little kitchen um, and here's a little it's, it's not necessarily a bathroom, just kind of like a place where they bathe. And it's, it's not, my, my vision is that there's no indoor plumbing. It's, it's a, one of those tubs that you fill, that you boil the water on the fireplace and then you fill it with water. And that's why it's kind of in the middle of the room here because there's no, it's not indoor plumbing. And that's why I've got this washstand next to it for like a pitcher of clean water and a towel and some soaps here. And I've got like a blanket slash towel draping over here. And, um... Then we've got, of course, the chicken coop and then a little bit of garden. Ooh, is this stuff ready to, ooh, it's ready to be harvested. That's awesome. Um, in fact, actually, hold on. And also, um, they have an outhouse because like I said, there's no indoor plumbing. So here's where they do their laundry and here's their toilet. Um, look at the little chickadees. Um, and so, yeah. And the attic is, uh, Kind of, I haven't really touched the attic yet as far as like making it look less, um, less modern, but I just put, I put more boxes in here and then there's just pillows and stuff. We're going to pretend this bathroom isn't here because in the speed build, this is where the bathroom for that was for the house. Um, so I feel like, uh, they'll use the attic once they have kids, which hopefully shouldn't be anytime soon because we can't afford it. Um, but right now it's just a one story house and the attic is what my, my vision for this, um, I was, I don't know, I was going to have them fish, but, um, because I thought the, the garden was dormant, but it's not. So we should have them both harvest because that would get that will get them food to eat much quicker than if they went fishing. And, and they're, they're kind of a little hungry, so they wouldn't really be able to get much fishing done. Oh, they're gonna get soaking wet out here. Um, but so my vision here is kind of that there was they knew of this abandoned cottage in the middle of the woods that was it was used um in a time where there were no towns. Um, but then, you know, once the towns were established, everyone kind of moved away from the woods and is, you know, centralized in one location. So it was just an abandoned cottage with like a pre-existing garden laid out there. Obviously not all the plants were dead, so they had to revive it themselves and they bought themselves a chicken coop, um, and everything and they fixed it up together. Um, so yeah, they've, they've kind of just taken this little cottage as their own and, and fixed it up because it was it was abandoned and everything. Um, and all the vegetation is still here. It still looks a little overgrown. So since they have nothing to their name, since there's no money involved in his, he was just a servant, he had no savings and she left everything behind to be with him. Oh man, talking over this rain is really hard. Um, 
so I'm not going to let either of them have jobs. And I'm also, um, I'm not going to let either of them cook. I'm not going to let them use the fridge to uh, make food because that costs money. So they're going to live off strictly off of what they harvest and they're going to sell it. That's how they're going to make their money. They're going to make money from fishing and from harvesting eggs and everything like that. So that's how we're going to do it. Um, so when they're done, um, I want him to eat this and I want her to eat this. Nothing like lettuce and a tomato for breakfast, huh? <laughs> um, so they're just going to, they're going to survive off of their own, their own hands, their own um, produce that they're growing and their own fish. Oh, he wants to flirt. Oh, they love each other. Become friends with someone. Um, yeah, but these two are actually young adults now. Um, and if you notice, Sylvia's had a bit of a wardrobe change. She looks a little bit different now. Um, I had to get rid of her, her more expensive looking Victorian clothing because, um, you know, that part of her that part of her life is over now. So she's got some kind of like peasant clothing going on here and she's put her hair up. She used to have the long hair with the bangs, um, but she's gotten in the habit of keeping her hair away from her face uh, because she's got to, you know, do dirty work all the time and work with her hands. But like I said, she doesn't mind because, you know, they did this because they love each other. Mm, she wants to have a child, guys. You, you, mm, we can't afford that, sweetie. Here, let's, let's make a deal. If we make enough money in this episode, oh good, he just ate his little lettuce. Um, why don't you eat, um, eat another one. And then you can use the toilet. He wants to have a child too. Oh, okay, guys. <laughs> That's really sweet. I didn't know they both wanted children so so badly. They're both still so young. They both just became young adults. You guys are moving a little fast. You have no money. Look, I'll make a deal though. If I can make enough money from harvesting today, um, we can maybe think about trying for a baby. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. And I mean, they risky woohoo anyway, but like, I don't know, it's, it's tricky. We might we might try for a baby. We might not. I mean, it's, it might happen accidentally. I don't know. So maybe I shouldn't say I'm going to do anything differently. Maybe we'll just we'll just keep having them risky woohoo. And if they don't have enough money, then oh well. <laughs> um, geez, I'm glad it's raining so that we don't have to do any watering. But also talking over this sound is really tricky. Oh good, she just ate her little tomato. Okay, please keep harvesting, little miss. Oh, she's getting very cold. It's 41 degrees out. Oh my God, imagine harvesting plants in the pouring rain in 41 degree weather. 41 degrees doesn't sound like it's too cold, but like that's pretty darn cold. Okay, uh, you harvest. Um, but yes, while we watch them do this, um, I apologize for my absence again. And I know I keep saying once a week, once a week, but I feel like um, I'm just gonna not give myself any kind of, oh, is it stopping the rain? Is the sun coming out? It's a little sun shower. I'm going to stop saying like, oh yeah, I'll, I'm going to post once a week or I'm going to post here or here because um, there's just really no guarantee when I'm going to not be busy. Um, I've been rehearsing for the play and uh, dancing whenever, whatever chance I get and because the auditions for the Nutcracker are coming up, they're actually tomorrow. Um, so there's that and I've been doing auditions. I've been filming auditions and submitting them and and looking up more auditions and, and scheduling headshots and, and doing regular classwork because I also do a bunch of English work because I'm a creative writing minor and I've been writing poetry. I'm in a poetry workshop. I've been doing a lot of writing. I write fiction and I promised my fiction professor I'd have a fiction story done. My One of the novels I've been working on and it is finished but I've just been editing it and I've just, there's a lot, okay? Like I've been doing a lot. <laughs> um, so... I'm not gonna say like, yeah, I'll post once a week or I'll post here or here because there's just, there's no point because I'm never gonna stick to it. And um, I just, I just do what I can, you know? And that's really all I can do. So yeah, look at these guys. They're just gardening. I'm just gonna, um, ooh, she gained the gardening skill. Um, I'm just gonna record when I can. And listen, I do really miss playing The Sims, like, like very much. I love The Sims, you know, like, um, <laughs> boast about gardening glory. That's actually kind of funny. She totally would do that. She'd be like, hey, honey, look at me. I'm such a gardening legend. <laughs> uh, talk about the rain. Okay, once they, do, bloop, once they do this batch of harvesting, I want them both to stop and talk to each other a little bit because 
can't work themselves too hard. I mean, they did do this so that they could be together, so we've got to let them have some time to spend together and stuff. Look at them, they're both dripping wet in the garden. <laughs> Boasting about her gardening glory. Yes, we know. You're so good. You are such a gardening legend, sweetie. So proud of you. Um, I also, I feel like it would be um, kind of cheating if we just sold things from our inventory. I feel like we'd have to like go to market, like, you know, like we'd have to actually leave the lot so it would take more time out of the day because you like, in reality, if they're in the middle of the woods, they wouldn't just be able to sell stuff from their pockets. You know what I mean? Like they'd have to actually go somewhere to sell their wares, you know? So um, we're gonna have them go to the market or maybe just have Theodore go and have Sylvia stay behind and do some housework. Romantic, uh, shy kiss. Just a little smooch in the garden, if you know what I'm saying. Mm. He wants to warm up too. You will, buddy. They're both very chilly. Oh, it's 34 days, holy crap. How is it the middle of spring? The, literally the middle of spring, four days until summer and it's 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Tell me how that makes any sense, because it doesn't. Okay, can we, uh, can we do the flirt? Let's do the flirt. Oh, look at them flirting in the garden. Oh, guys, these two are so sweet. Like, they have been through so much, and, like, they have, they've risked so much to be together, and, like, just look at them. They have a place of their own now. Oh, <laughs> look at them. I mean, like, they have so much work to do and they're just like, you know, flirting it up in the garden. Look at how beautiful this screenshot is. Like, look at the background here. Like, this is a nice, this is a nice screenshot. I like this one. Oh, did you hear that little chuckle she just had? That was cute. Okay, so, um, oh my God, you can see their breath. They're so cold. Um, I also feel like it makes sense that, oh wow, she's really cold. Um, all right, we don't want them to freeze to death, so we should probably go in. She's gonna go catch some fish, um, so she's gonna go do that, and they're gonna roast the fish. I put a fire pit inside. I kind of have it, like, in the middle of the fireplace, like, for aesthetic purposes, but I don't know if it's actually gonna work, so, um, we're, we'll, we'll see about that. Um, we're gonna, while she does that, we're gonna have him maybe test the fire pit. Oh, he can light the fire pit. That's so cool. Yes, I love that. Because, okay, this is a custom content, um, version of the, the metal fire pit that you put outside. And here's just a regular fireplace. But you can't roast things on, in a regular fireplace. But, you know how you can, like, roast fish on a fire pit? You can't do that in the fireplace. But you can do it here. Oh, heck yeah. That's so cool. Okay. Awesome. So she's going to catch fish. Fish. Woo. She's going to catch fish for their dinner. So she's going to fish until she catches five fish. Um, so he is going to go and he's going to go to market and he's going to sell all of the produce from today. Let's see. Where's the market? It's going to take him a while to get there. And then I also don't want him to drive because they didn't have that back then. Or though... You know, maybe we should wait until tomorrow because it's a very long trip. I feel like, like, the Victorians, like, wouldn't have gone to market, like, every single day. They wouldn't have gone to market, like, every single day because it was such a long trip. They would have saved up their stuff and then, like, sold it all at once. And then you would get more money all at once anyway. All right. So get those fish. We're going to use some for dinner, maybe sell some when we go to market. Who knows? Ooh, good. She did catch something. Good. Okay, you're not putting it in the fish bowl. Oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> she caught a minnow. Good. He's just gardening over here, just getting everything, getting ready to sell. Maybe we'll go to market tomorrow. Um, she's still fishing until she catches five fish. She needs to catch at least, oh, she stopped. Okay, well, it's because she's hungry. So maybe we should just have her eat. Go warm yourself and then then you can roast something. You can roast your minnow. There she goes, warming her hands, making herself feel all toasty after being very chilly all day. We'll try again for more fish tomorrow. <clears throat> I was trying to skip through the night, but I just got a notification that Molly just became a teen, which is insane because they still don't have <laughs> another child. Yeah, they still don't have, they only have Molly. They they still don't have a, a a male heir. Oh geez. 
that's such a problem. That's not good. Um, but, um, anyway, um, so what was I going to do? Um, yeah, so they're both really exhausted. Um, they had their risky woohoo to, you know, unwind before they went to bed and, you know, they need, they need to bond and everything like that. That's, you know, the reason that they went away is to be together. And so they need to get their bonding in, but they went to bed super late. Um, and I was going to skip through to the morning cause, um, everything that happened before they went to bed was pretty mundane. Just got some fish. Um, and they both roasted it at the fire. Um, I moved the fireplace actually, well, not the fireplace. There are two fireplaces, but I moved the pit, the actual fire pit into the kitchen, because I think it would make more sense if they're going to roast fish in the, in the fire, if they would put it in the, if they would do it in the kitchen. So I put the, 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 the logs, the fire pit in the fireplace in the kitchen, and I moved some of the dining room chairs away from the table and in front of the fireplace. Um, and it works, everything's functional. So if you ever want to roast fish inside uh, a fireplace, just put the fire pit inside the fireplace using move objects, and it works perfectly. So that's super cool. Ooh, look at them snuggle. And look, they're dreaming about each other while they're snuggling. That's the, that's literally the cutest thing ever. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> oh, guys, it's love day. That's so cute. Too bad we can't afford to waste a day uh, from harvesting to go to love day because we uh, can't afford that. We are poor. We are so poor. Okay, anyway, um, they're going to get up start harvesting um but you know the the thing is that they're they're not miserable but they're but they're not blissfully happy like it's not just like oh we're gonna live on love like they're struggling you know like every day is a struggle they have to get up at the crack of dawn to get all their work done so that they can make money just so that they can get by and just so that they can eat and be warm and it's hard it's it's definitely really hard um it's, it's, it's not going to be easy. They're going to, they have a rough life ahead of them. Um, I'm going to get her to actually pick up all the laundry on the lots. She needs to do some housework. He's going to get up and start harvesting and she'll probably help him with that. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, they're not going to have an easy time just because they're in love. It's not a like, you know, oh, we don't need to have, oh. Ugh, sorry, I thought there was thunder, even though it's bright and sunny outside, but it was someone starting their really loud car. Okay, harvest eggs, um, play with chicks, feed the chickens, which is going to be five simoleons of our 25 simoleons that we have. Um, and then you can do laundry. Um, but they they are struggling, and they will they will continue to struggle because it's not, you know, they, they gave up a lot to be together, and they're not just going to magically be happy they're not just going to magically, you know, be able to be happy and, and not struggle just because they're in love. That's, you know, that's not how it's going to work. Um, and hopefully uh, she doesn't get pregnant from their, from their, their I, every time I say the phrase risky woohoo, I always say whiskey, <laughs> which is funny. Um, okay, so she's just harvesting some eggs. Oh, playing with the chickies in the rain. Did you not? Why can't you get the eggs? Oh, look, she's thinking about babies. She wants a baby. The gate was too close to the coop, so she couldn't get the eggs. Okay. She picked up three eggs. Very good. Okay. Um, go do laundry, please. All right. And when you're done doing laundry... Please help your husband harvest. Jeez, going from build mode to live mode was really depressing because it's so dark outside. <laughs> All right, quickly go pee. Do not pee yourself in this garden. Go, go, go. <gasps> oh, no! <gasps> Guys, Sylvia's nauseous from unknown causes. You, you, I, I only, I swear, oh, I, 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 the footage, I, the, my camp, my recording stopped. I couldn't. I was almost gonna say, I was almost gonna say you saw I only cl clicked risky woohoo but you didn't because my quick because quick time stopped recording, which is why I was skipping through the night. But I, I swear I only clicked on risky woohoo. I didn't hit try for baby. Oh, and there's a twenty five percent chance. Wait, I'll show you. I'll show you. Look, yes, to see twenty five percent chance. So she had a one in four chance of getting pregnant, and she did. 
So there's that. Um, hmm, isn't that interesting, guys? Okay, um, wow. Whew, keep harvesting, please. Um, so she's pregnant, basically, um, is what you're telling me. Wow, okay, no, this is not good. We don't have any money. <laughs> we seriously can't afford a baby at all. Like, not even a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I forgot to give her the morning mood like because her dad died. Oh, she probably feels some serious... I, to I totally forgot about that. She probably feels some serious guilt. I completely forgot about it because, like, I I haven't played this, this uh, save file in, like, three weeks. So it's, like, it's just been a while since, like, his funeral and everything. Oh, man. It's definitely... And, like, it's her fault. Like, I mean, it's, it's not really her fault that, like, he, like his, his heart was fragile. But, like, she triggered his heart attack. So, like... It kind of is her fault, which is, like, really awful. Wow. That's crazy. So she should have the morning mood lit. But, like, I kind of don't feel like, I don't feel like figuring that out. I don't want to, it's not worth it. But, like, she's mourning. It's basically, basically all you need to know is that she's in mourning. Um, her father's dead. She's going to vomit in 36 minutes. Um, <laughs> um, I guess leave name suggestions below for their baby. Um you know, boy names, girl names. Um, I already know that I don't want to name it. If it's a boy, I feel like she wouldn't name it after the father because she knows that that's, that's like the nobility thing to do. And she's not like in the, she's not like in the upper class anymore. So that's not something that she would do. Um, but she's like totally going to bomb bomb. <laughs> um, she's going to stop harvesting. Yep. She going to throw up. Oh, is she not going to go to the toilet? Is she just going to throw up in the garden? Because that's kind of awful. Oh. It glitched out. She didn't throw up. <laughs> um, sometimes my game does that. It just, like, doesn't... Okay, you know what? When she stops gardening that, she can have fish. She can uh, light the fire. And they can roast the, some of the fish that she got last night. Here, go light fire. Um, he's gonna get hungry soon, too. He's gonna get tired soon, too. Jeez. All right, well, we won't have him eat until he's done harvesting, because all that's left are these tomatoes, because everything else hasn't spawned yet, I guess, because we harvested it later in the day. Here, stop that. Go, go light the fire, eat your fish, take a chill pill. Uh, how's the laundry? I know the toilet's broken. We should probably fix that. Um, did you not do laundry? I told you to do... Mm. Okay, well, you can do it after you eat, I guess. Um, come on, let's sit down. Have a family meal of fish. Oh, I guess he can't get to the other chair. Well, <laughs> um, you're, no, you're not going to Marigold's party. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, Marigold aged up too then because they were born on the same day. So, like, this, this whole save is just, like, you know, young adults now, right? I really wanted them to sit and eat at the same time. It's a shame it wouldn't let me do that. Okay, roast a minnow, por favor. Why is it not doing laundry? Is there, is, okay, you know what? I have to click on the hamper. Is that what I have to do? Is the item itself glitched? All right, he's eating. She's doing laundry. While she's in here, she should repair the toilet. Unclog it. Make yourself useful, sweetie. She, like, also doesn't have any skills because she's so, like, because she was raised in privilege, so she doesn't have any handiness skill or any cooking skill. So I, I think, I guess that's, like, another encouragement to not use the, look, she has the painting skill, but that's it. Um, it's another encouragement to not, like, use the, the stove or the fridge because she just doesn't have the skill at all. So it, like, wouldn't make any sense for her to cook because she doesn't know how because she's never, she's never had to do anything for herself. Um, because she's been, she's, she was a child of privilege, you know? All right, so she unclogged the toilet, now she's cleaning it, you know, getting rid of that privilege, making her do all the housework. She's gonna move the clothes to the clothesline, then she's gonna do some fishing. I actually, I put a, a fence in the back of the lot because I realized that they were going around the front just to get here because the whole, uh, the whole lot's fenced off to keep out, um, unwelcome intruders. Um... And actually, I've got Theodore. He's uh, running his way to market. 
right now on foot. Um, I wish I had The Sims 3 pets or else I'd make him do it on horseback, but I don't have that, so we don't have horses in this save file. Oh, she's gonna throw up in another two hours. Unless it glitches and doesn't actually make her vomit. But, you know, we'll see. Um, I still can't believe she's pregnant. Um, this is gonna be such a problem. Um, but we're about to sell produce, so I'm not, like, too worried about it. And, like, we don't have anything to spend money on. Ex oh, except bills. This lot, like, though it, like, is meant to look like it's, um, like it's poorly furnished and it's, it's like a cheap, like, you know, like I said, it was a rundown place that they, that they, um, it was abandoned and they cleaned everything up and buffed all the wood and everything and made it look better and polished everything. Um, so it is, like, rundown and everything like that and they did fix it up. But, uh, so it's meant to look that way, but, um, the, the bills are still gonna be really expensive. So, that's gonna stink. Um, but cool, I wasn't sure if that was gonna work, but it does. Um, no, don't go out the front. Why are you doing that? So for, ooh, sell all fruits and vegetables. 923, that's a lot. Um, but it's not gonna sell our eggs, so we're gonna do that f for him. Donate money to charity. Why would you do that? Okay, she gained the fishing skill. He sold all that stuff. Okay, um, so he can head home, except um, he probably should nap somewhere first, considering that it is... I reset that woman so that I can sleep on this bench. Go take a nap nap. She literally won't catch anything. I'm watching the fish jump right here, and she won't get... The, they just won't bite. Yay, a single fish. Thank you so much. She doesn't seem happy about it. But you know, it's a meal, kid. He's not, they're not gonna be hungry tonight. They might be able to just go to bed without dinner, um, which is a shame. <laughs> but it doesn't seem that, oh, she got another one. Ooh, what was that? A rainbow trout. That's $9 and that's $6. Okay, so it's a big boy. Okay, which is, you know what, it's a good thing um, that she caught two fish because now there's enough for them to have breakfast, for each of them to have a fish tomorrow for breakfast, but she's exhausted, so she's gonna go, um, she's gonna go relax in bed because um, she has to wait up for him to get home, but, you know, she doesn't want to fall asleep without him home, so she's just gonna wait up for him. Um, but she can take a nap while she waits for him. Oh, he just got home. All right, perfect. So you guys can do another risky woohoo and then go to sleep because y'all are exhausted. She wants to chat with Theodore, maybe. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, so anyway, guys, um, now I'm gonna cut this episode off right here. Now you see um, how these guys are living. Um, every day is kind of a struggle. Um, they're... Every day, they're kind of just living day to day the best they can, you know, making making by with their produce and fishing and, you know, the fire pit. Did anyone put out the fire or is it going to be on all night? Okay, it's off. Good. The house won't burn down. Um, they're getting by the best they can. They did make a lot of money from that one, that one haul, from that one trip to market, but... Um, it might not be good enough once it comes once it comes time to pay bills and once the baby's born, we're gonna have to afford a crib somehow. And um, I mean, they don't even know she's pregnant yet. She she's just getting sick, and you know he's probably freaking out because he's like, oh my god, like is being poor making her sick? Am I not providing for her well enough? Like, am I killing her? Like, he probably doesn't even have any idea that she's pregnant. I mean, they both want it. They both want a child, but they probably both are like, no, it won't happen anytime soon. So this is totally gonna catch them off guard. Oh, they're not even doing it, hold on. <laughs> Woo-hoo, woo-hoo. Um, okay, so anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the life that these two have built. Um, let me know any name suggestions for their baby that's gonna come. Uh, let me know how you think they're gonna react to having a baby. What do you guys think of them having a baby? Um, I think it's too soon, obviously, but again, I didn't do it on purpose. Like, you, you didn't see me because the, the footage cut off, but, um, I did hit risky. Like, I just did just now. I just did exactly that. Um, they're both gonna be fully rested at 8 a.m. Maybe I'll let them sleep in. Um, jeez, I don't want to stop playing with these guys. I'm having, I'm, I feel like I'm playing a rags to riches challenge right now. I'm having fun. 
I want them to, oh, Eliana was on Routable. Half this town is my family. Um, but I want to, I want to keep playing with these guys. I want to see what happens when she's, when she finds out she's pregnant and everything. Um, but anyway, um, I really should go. Oh, wow. Mm, I forgot. Camilla's dead. <laughs> that makes me so unhappy. Um, I probably should, um, give Molly a makeover. Um, how about these guys? Is she pregnant? I can't remember. I don't, I don't know any, uh, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but definitely Henry, maybe we should go check in with Henry Jr. because he needs to produce an heir. Um, because if he doesn't produce an heir and Peter has a male, then it, then Peter kind of takes over and like, nobody really wants that because he is Henry Jr. It should be his thing. The next generation should be headed by him, but if he can't produce a male heir, then like, you know, whatever. So we'll see how that goes. What do you think Sylvia's baby is going to be? Um, wouldn't it be funny if if she has a boy before anybody else, like, and he's going to be like an illegitimate heir? But like, wouldn't it be hilarious if nobody else had a boy? And so like, technically her son was like the only actual heir. <sighs> That'd be wild. Um, I kind of low-key hope that happens, actually. I wonder what we would do in that situation. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, and just let me know what you think about everything. And again, sorry about my um, repeated absence, but it can't be helped. I'm not going to make any promises about when I'm uploading next. Um, so yeah, this is Simmer Rose. Have a great day, guys. Oh, okay, literally as I was doing my outro, she stopped sleeping, got up, and realized that she was pregnant. What are the freaking odds, dude? Okay, well, now she's going to be frozen. Okay, well, um, she froze, so I reset her because I always reset my sims when they realize they're pregnant. And now the moodlet's not here, so I'm going to have to fix that. Mm-hmm. We love The Sims 3. Okay, now I, okay, um, now it's over. All right, bye. <laughs>